can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given these three squares with side length of one unit, now let's draw two line segments like this. And now let's shade this triangle like this. And the question is, what is the area of the shaded region? So here's the choices. Letter A, 5 over 4. Letter B, 4 over 5. Letter C, 3 over 2. Or letter D, 3 over 4. You can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. All right. So to answer this question, I provide two possible solutions or two possible methods to deal with this kind of question. So the first one is the elimination of choices. This method is very powerful because we have given four choices. So if we can eliminate two of them, so technically the one that is not eliminated is the correct answer. All right. Now the second method is, of course, the geometric approach. Now let's have our solution. Let's have the elimination of choices. All right, so to do that, let's get the midpoint of these squares and let's draw some segments that divides our squares like this. Now take note, this point right over here is technically the midpoint of the side of the square and also this point, this is the midpoint of the side of the square. All right, now let's focus on this piece and let's pull out this piece outside of this whole triangle and take note this piece right over here is technically the same thing as this piece so we can put this piece into the bottom part like this now what can we say about the area of this right triangle this right triangle this one right triangle technically this is just one fourth of the whole square so we can say we have here one fourth. This is also one fourth. This is one fourth, and this piece is one fourth of this square. Now, we cut this square into four. So this piece is also one fourth, and this piece on the bottom part is also one fourth. Now, if we add one fourth, one fourth, and one fourth, we get three over four. And now, take note: we have one fourth, one fourth, one fourth, and the area of the shaded region must be greater than one fourth because we have an extra piece right over here. So letter D, choice three over four, is not part of our answer because we know for sure that the area of the shaded region must be greater than three over four. Now, how about the other choices? Now take note, the area of this right triangle right over here must be equal to one because we have the area of the triangle must be equal to 1 half times base times height. The base must be equal to 1 and uh, multiply by 1 and the height must be equal to 2. So the area of the triangle must be equal to just 1. Now, 5 over 4 is greater than 1. So 5 over 4 is not part of our answer because technically speaking, the area of the shaded region must be less than 1. And 3 over 2 is 1.5. This is also greater than 1, so this is not part of our answer also. So the answer to this question must be equal to letter B, which is 4 over 5. And that is the answer. Now, let's do the second method, which is the geometric approach. All right. So what we're going to do is to let the side of the square be equal to 2x. And since we know this point right over here is the midpoint of the side of the square. So this line segment or this side must be equal to x because if the side of the square is x, so half of it must be equal to x. So the bottom part, this is also 2x. Now, this angle right over here, if we call this theta, this angle on the bottom part must be also equal to theta because vertical angles are congruent. Next, if we call this angle be equal to beta, this angle right over here in the bottom part is also beta because alternate and interior angles are congruent. And also, if this angle is alpha, this other angle on the bottom part is also alpha again 
interior angles are congruent. So we can say that these two triangles are similar to each other. And the ratio of this side must be equal to 3x over 2x, or simply 3 is to 2. So the ratio of their side must be equal to 3 is to 2. Now, since we know that the ratio of their side must be equal to 3 is to 2, so let's call this side be equal to 3n and this bottom part be equal to 2n because, again, the ratio of their side must be equal to 3 is to 2. Now, let's focus on this 3n and 2n. Take note. This segment right over here is the same thing as this segment. So they are just the same length. So if this is 3n and 2n, so this segment must be equal to 5n. Now at this point, we will use some concept with regards to comparing the areas of a triangle. Now it says, if two triangles have equal heights, we have equal heights then the ratio of their areas equal the ratio of their bases, respectively. So given this example, we can say that the ratio of the area of triangle ABD and triangle BBC must be equal to the ratio of their bases 6 and 8. And if we simplify this, we get 3 over 4. But take note, 3 over 4 is not the answer to our question. All right, so we will use this concept to answer our question. So take note, the bases are 5n and 3n, which is equivalent to 8n, and we have another base, which is 2n. So it says, if two triangles have equal heights, technically we have the same height, then the ratio of their areas equals the ratio of their bases. So we can say that the area of their areas must be also equal to 2 n over 8 n so let's call this area of the small triangle be equal to 2 a and the area of the large triangle be equal to 8 a respectively now let's focus on this figure now at this point we also know that the area of this right triangle right over here must be equal to 1 square units so we can say that 8a, 8a, 8a plus 2a must be equal to 1 square units. So the area of these triangles must add up to 1 square units. Now, if we solve for the value of a, 8a plus 2a, this will give us 10a, and 10a equals 1. So if we solve for a, divide both sides by 10, so we get that a equals 1 over 10. But we want the value of 8a. So let's multiply both sides by 8. So now we have the value of 8 times 8. That is what we want to find. So this is just 8 over 10. And if we simplify 8 over 10, we get an answer of 4 over 5. So that is the answer to this question. So the area of the shaded region must be equal to 4 over 5 square units. And that is the answer to this question. And as always, we are done.